thank you, Lord, that we are more than conquerors in you, Lord, and we are going to see a victory in you, Jesus. your name for this is the day you have made. We are going to rejoice and be glad in it. We thank you for this day. We welcome your presence. Have your way. In Jesus Christ's name, pray and believe. Amen. Good morning. Welcome to prayer devotion. Day two. This week our focus has been on Psalm 34. Yesterday, Our focus was on Psalm 34, verse 1 to 3. And today, our focus will be on Psalm 34, verse 4 to 5. So I'll be reading from Psalm 34, from verse 4 to 5. I sought the Lord, and he answered me, and delivered me from all my fears. Those who look to him are radiant, and their faces shall never be ashamed. I saw the Lord, and he answered me, and delivered me from all my fears. Those who look to him are radiant, and their faces shall never be ashamed. In this time of age, there is so much that people are afraid of. There's fear of sickness of COVID-19. There's fear of not being able to pay debts, loans, fear of losing jobs or business collapsing, or maybe there's fear of rejection and also fear of death. The psalmist is telling us in Psalm 34, I saw the Lord and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. So they encourage us Whatever fear you have, I would encourage you to seek the Lord. Surrender those fears to God because he cares for you. Psalms 46 says, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. And Philippians 4 verse 6 to 7 says, Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication. With thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God, and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, we guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. So this morning, whatever is causing you to be afraid, whatever you are afraid of, I want us to surrender those fears to God and seek the face of God, because God is able to deliver you from all fears, and also as you look unto him, your face shall be radiant. So let us go before God in prayer and surrender everything that is giving our hearts worry, trouble. Father, we come to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you for your word that says, I sought the Lord and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. Lord, we surrender every fear. Lord, there are those who are afraid of becoming sick. There are those who have loved ones who are sick in their hospitals and their bills have piled up. And they're so much in fear. They don't know how to search on the bills. We surrender every fear to you. Lord, we pray for those who have fears of losing their jobs, those who have fears of loans, 
mortgages. Those who have fear of the unknown and even fear of death, we surrender all these fears to you. Lord, we thank you that you are faithful. You are our refuge, a very present help in the times of trouble. So, Lord, we surrender all these worries to you. Every fear to you, we surrender to you. Because you care for us. Mighty God, I want to pray for your peace that surpasses all human understanding upon every person that is living in fear, that the fear has gripped their hearts. We surrender to you. We choose to put our focus upon you. Because your word says that God, you are refuge and strength, a very present help in the times of trouble. We surrender all our anxiety to you, all our trouble, every care, every concern to you, because you care for us, O oh God. I want to pray for your peace. I want to pray for your blessing and your favor upon your children, O oh God. Father, I want to pray in the name of Jesus Christ that, Lord, you make a way where there seems to be no way. I want to pray for those ones who have loved ones who are in hospitals and the bills have piled up, that you make a way for them where there seems to be no way. Lord, I want to pray, O oh God, Father, for the parent who has a child who needs to go to return back to school, but they don't have money that you provide in the name of Jesus Christ. Want to pray for that person who's afraid of losing his job or his business collapsing. We surrender those fears to you. Make a way for them in Jesus' name. Want to pray for those who are afraid of death that they're going to give their life to Jesus Christ. They'll put their confidence upon you. Lord, have your way. We pray for this day that you bless us and go before us. In Jesus Christ's name, pray and believe. Amen. As I wind up, I want to read Psalms 46, verse 1. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Have a blessed day. God bless you. There's power in the mighty name of Jesus. Everyone